Welcome back to another episode of Real South Hunting. It is velvet season, and it's time to get after these Mississippi velvet bucks. Well, first up, we got Mr. Stewart and Kyle Wiley. This all started on May the 24th, 2023. Uh, me, my dad, and my my son, we were uh, we were going to go fishing at a friend of ours pond, and uh, while we were there trying to uh, get our things ready to go fishing, my dad had a had a massive heart attack. I was very fortunate to have uh, received enough training over the years through the fire department that I uh, was able to lend him enough aid to uh, get him to a hospital and get the outcome that we wanted. Once we got out of the hospital, Dad started his cardiac therapy, and through those weeks of cardiac therapy, we also started incorporating some archery therapy. We started shooting bows. We might shoot one, two arrows a day. Two or three weeks into therapy, we, uh, we were fortunate enough to get a picture of a deer that made both of us pretty excited. As the months rolled on by, we uh, started getting more and more pictures of a deer that we finally come to know as Mr. Clean. Like, like he said, we watched this deer early in the season, waited for and we knew we was going to hunt this deer to, you know, to develop it. Well, he took missing. And that evening, did he come in, or morning did he come in? And I was kind of disheartened and really didn't want to go. I told Kyle, I just really didn't care if she was anything else there. But anyway, he just, he said, well, let's go anyways. He wasn't one of them. And there was a deer there that came in. It's an older deer. It had some wacky looking horns. I, I tried to get Kyle to let me shoot him, and he, he said, no, hold on. That Saturday, Kyle said, we going? He said, if not anything else, you can shoot the old deer that we, you know, bullwinkle deer that we had in there. State of Pennsylvania, here in Mississippi, and they are back in here in the bunk hole again. We had eight bucks in here, and eight bucks in here last night, no shooters. Get up in the stand and they was of nine bucks already in the field he had just sent me a text and asked me hey can i shoot bullwinkle and type the text to him i told him yeah you can kill him but as soon as i send that message i look behind all the other bucks and in the camera frame walks the deer that we want to shoot
I made a bad shot. Yeah. Did you beat it? Oh yeah. yeah. That's the biggest deer I've ever seen in a while. That oh. thing is humongous. I got, <laughs> I got a little bit shook up. <laughs> All I can tell you is I'm nervous in my heart. <laughs> I hope it stayed together. <laughs> <laughs> the shot was not the prettiest shot in the world. The shot was back. I mean, it was no doubt about it. And as soon as the air hit him, we... But I we, was really nervous. <laughs> yeah, he was nervous. <laughs> you drew a little bit too quick, and I knew you was going to get rattled when you drew on him too quick. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, shot, I shot a huge buck. He, uh, one we, we, we was hunting for. But I kind of shot back on him. We're going we're gonna to look for him here. Just, I mean, we're going to look right here where he went in the woods, and then we're probably just going to let him lay for a while. Had nine bucks counting him. Hold on. Uh, I was about to mess up. We had another buck here, an older buck. We called Bull Wayne because those horns was all messed up. We go. I, I was just fixing to ask Kyle if I could shoot him. And he checked me and I couldn't see this other buck yet. He said, there comes your buck. And I happened to look up there and see him coming. So anyway, he got around here and made a little dive though and got in the shooting lane and I turned it loose but like I say it's not the perfect most perfect shot yeah I'm sure that's where he went out we'll get old Riddick coming here later on tonight put on him we got the posse gathered up about midnight and uh, we went back over there and we turned the dog out and here we are first track of the year for me boy first track of the year he, no, he was he was pouring blood on the camera on the video coming across here, but we didn't find we couldn't see it. We come out here and look just before we went in here. That, you could, that is just a now. I don't know, you can see it flying out of it. In that creek bottom, the deer was laying in the water. Yeah, look at the mass on that thing. He's either got knocked it out up there somewhere. I ain't worried about what that. What do you think, Stuart Wally? I don't think it's <laughs> Tax dummy time now. Full <laughs> <Full> body <laughs> mount. Full <laughs> body mount, Wally. That's where we gotta go. Ooh, ooh. How old are you, Dad? 69. 69. Like it's laying. <laughs> Mr. Stuart Wally, I'm awful proud for you. I'm gonna tell you right now. Awful proud for you. <laughs> That's one heck of a south and sister bow kill right there. Yeah. It's the best deer I've ever killed with anything, gun, bow. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty pretty amazing. Give God the praise. Yes, yes sir. sir. Absolutely. Give him all the glory, because I'm telling you, without him, I wouldn't be here tonight. Yeah. yeah. This is the end result of a hunt that I actually started yesterday. I've been seeing this buck on the farm up there, and uh, we, uh, we decided this was the only deer that we was going to shoot there we had several more bucks there and uh, but we went yesterday and uh, he didn't show up but he hadn't showed up in about three or four days and i done got worried that he decided to leave on me i looked up the hill and when i looked up the hill this gentleman here started stepped out and i'm telling you he uh, <laughs> he set my heart racing pretty bad i, I got kind of shook up and he finally come in and gave me the shot and i made a i made a bad shot but a good shot i reckon because he was dead within 100 yards of where i shot him at it's it's a, been a long time coming since i've killed a deer like this uh, i've killed some killed some deer killed some with my bow but i've never killed nothing quite like this but i don't i don't really know what else to say except the good lord just you know give him all the glory and praise for it if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to hunt these big, beautiful animals. We're headed up to the Delta. Me and Brooke have got high hopes on shooting a big Mississippi Delta Velvet buck. But first, we got to get a place to park this new camper we just got. We're headed over to Piney Creek RV, and we're going to pick us out a pad, a place to call home for the next few months during hunting season. Getting us a camper spot set up or what? About to meet the man with the plan. See what he has to say. Opening day of velvet season here. And we're just killing some time before we get in the stand. We didn't go this morning. We just, we didn't really want to blow them out. 
We're gonna try them one evening before we mess with them. So maybe we can uh, get one on the ground. We got several good deer in the area, but we also have a bunch of big pigs. So this is probably gonna end up being a pig shoot. It is about 85 degrees, 85 degrees, something like that. And we're fixing to go get in the stand for the first time for the 2023 season. There you go, get a buck. Ready, son. Just or a got hog. a shower. <laughs> Whew, gotta cool off a minute. That shower felt good. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm scent free now. Short field. season is officially underway. Let me go ahead and throw a couple of feather bucks in the back of the truck. Be off to get started. That would be nice if I had tag a couple this afternoon. That would be really big doings. Yeah, that would be. All right, well, we got some good bucks on camera up here and they've been pretty regular, but we also have some hogs that have been showing up on the camera. So I don't know what's gonna show up, but something's getting the arrow. getting close to dark and I hear the hogs coming. Well, I could hear them coming through the bushes they were cutting up and uh, I couldn't see them until they got right there into my lane.
That first one got out in the clear and I let one of those arrows go. It's not a velvet bug, but it's a big old hog. <laughs> Who is this? What's that? a long haired goat. Oh, Joe. And grow that hair out. That's like I'm gonna be sitting up here with a light on for an hour. <laughs> hey, man, it got hot in it. <laughs> Y'all chose this way. <sighs> oh, it's a piggy. One of them old things, you know? So let's talk about my three days of the velvet hunt. Day one, it was hot, real hot. Here we are, baby. First, it's a little warm, it's a No action. Day two, it was still hot. Had a dog come through on day two. I did see an animal, so that was a plus. Yesterday was a plus. Other than broke, he shot a big sow hog. And uh, he went to a different stand this evening. I came back to the same spot I hunted yesterday. So hopefully one of these big velvet bugs would make it on camera, make an appearance. We just need one bug to read the script. Give us an opportunity. Fired up. We got a good, strong wind today. Hopefully it keeps blowing like it is. Keep my scent away from where the deer are. We had like five, six bucks that were shooters on camera. It's like these deer know what's going on. It's like they know when deer season opens. Day three rolls around. A little bit cooler. We had a nice breeze and all, but uh, the deer forgot to show up. That's how it goes sometimes. It keeps us coming back. It's not easy, so we keep fighting. We keep coming back. Well, thank goodness Mr. Stewart got that big velvet buck. And you know, Brooke got him some pork chops and uh, all I did was drink a lot of water. I'm okay though, I'm okay. Won't be long and we'll be headed to Colorado. 
We want to thank y'all for watching this episode of Real South Hunt. Make sure y'all tune in next week. Well, no velvet buck this year, but I got some pork chops in the cooler. <laughs> That's yeah, good. It's a frame up. There's one little tooth there. Come out. <laughs> Scared big A. <laughs> you didn't know what was going on over there. Yeah, you're right.